Hey guys, uh, Mr. Bullock here in this uh, geometry lesson, although it's an algebra lesson, uh, is writing and graphing equations of lines. You've seen this in your Algebra 1 class, so let's take care of the board problem first. So is the point uh, negative 1, negative 7 on the line y equal 2x minus 5? This is x, this is y, so plug them in to see if it makes it true. So uh, does it make it true? Yes, it does when you plug it in. Okay, find the intercepts uh, of the graph of y equals 3x minus 9. All right, so real, real quick, you guys, um, uh, the x-intercept is when y is 0, so let this y be 0 and solve for x. So 0 equals uh, negative 3x minus 9. I went ahead and, um, uh, whoops, I may think I made a mistake right here. Uh, you should get uh, 3x equals negative 9. I did make a mistake. Let me fix that right here. 3x equals, uh, uh, there should be a negative right there. And then so x is going to equal a negative 3. Hopefully I have enough room to squeeze it in right there. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Uh, I make mistakes all the time, you guys. My students catch me left and right. Okay. So in the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So you get rid of that and you get y equals negative 9 right there. Okay. So uh, x is negative 3 is the x-intercept and the y-intercept is y equals negative 9. Okay. So this one says solve this equation for y. I'm going to go ahead and take away this 16 away from both sides. And I get uh, negative 3y equals 24x minus 16. Then divide everything by a negative 3. And you get y equals uh, negative 8x plus 16 thirds. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. All right, so uh, write and graph the equations of lines. An equation written in slope-intercept form. You guys remember this. y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is your y-intercept. So write uh, an equation of the lines shown in slope-intercept form. Okay, first let's go ahead and get the slope. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I think I chose this to be my y sub 2. Okay, so negative 2 minus this y sub 1, 4, over 3 minus 0. Okay, so I get negative 2. All right, and then, uh, so I, then I know this. Uh, uh, I need to find that that's the slope. I need to find my, my y-intercept. And my y-intercept is where this line goes right through the y-axis. So it's up there at that 4. So that's your b right there. So you get y equals uh, mx plus b or negative 2x plus 4. All right, write an equation of the line that passes through negative 1, 1. That's parallel. Par parallel means equal to. So the line with the equation, whoops, I have too many a's in there, to a line with the equation. Let's get rid of one of those a's there. Uh, uh, 2x minus 3. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, get the slope. The slope is the same as this one right here, so it's, it's 2. So I know I'm going to do y equals 2x plus b. So let's go ahead and substitute in uh, negative 1, 1 for x and y. And then you should get b equals 3, so y equals uh, 2x plus 3. Okay, and if you graphed them, there they are. Aren't they parallel? Okay, here's uh, the negative, here's y equals 2x minus 3, here's y equals 2x plus 3, and they're parallel to each other. All right, write an equation of the line j that's through the point 2, 3, that's perpendicular to the line k with the equation negative 2, y equals negative 2x plus 2. Okay, so if the slope of this one is negative 2, a perpendicular slope would be to flip negative 2 and change the sign. This is negative 2 over 1, so flip it and make it 1 over 2. Since that's negative, this one's positive. Okay, so now I know it's y equals 1 half x plus b. To figure out b, go ahead and substitute that in for x and that in for y. And then uh, I get, uh, looks like b equals 2. So there's the equation right there. And then here's the graphs of those two guys right there. There's the y equals uh, uh, 1 half x plus 2, and here's the y equals negative 2 x plus 2. And see, there's a nice right angle right there. They're perpendicular to each other. All right. Uh, okay, this graph models the total cost of joining the gym. Write an equation of the line and then explain the meaning of the uh, slope and the y-intercept. All right, let's first find the slope, you guys. y2, y1 over x2 minus x1. So you get 44 on this one. Okay, so now I know it's y equals 44 x plus b. Well, there's B right there. It looks like it's somewhere between 100 and 200. It almost looks like it's 150, but I can't tell. So what I'm going to do is substitute in this ordered pair for X and Y into this. And let's go ahead and get B, see what it really is. See, it's 143. So there's the equation, Y equals 44X plus 143. And then what's the, what does X represent? X represents... Um, I'm sorry, the slope is your monthly fee, you guys. So that's how much it is per month, 44 bucks per month. And this 143 is the initial cost, you guys. It's the initial cost of joining up. All right? 
Okay, so standard form is AX plus BY equals C. A, B, and C are all integers, and A and B are both uh, not zero. Okay, so, um, so let's just graph 3X plus 4Y equals 2. I'm going to do the intercept method. Let X equals zero. So when X equals zero, the 3X goes away. I'm left with 4Y equals 12 or Y equals 3. So X equals zero, Y equals 3. I'm going to go ahead and graph 0, 3. Okay, there's 0, 3. Same thing, I'm going to let y be 0 and I get 4, 0. Connect them up, and there you go.